something will be exposed here. Feelings will be exposed. There could be a confession here. A confession of love from someone that seems logical. They're not the type that is emotional. Very calm and collected. But it seems like they kept their feelings a secret for way too long. And now they need to confess or they want to confess or something will expose their feelings. They have been watching, waiting, hiding. This is someone that has feelings for you, but they don't think it's wise to tell you how they feel. So they've been really trying their best not to tell you how they feel. But I think they can't hide their feelings from you anymore. You will either hear that this person is in love with you or this person themselves will confess that love for you. We have the world. Things between the two of you will change after that revelation. Things will change after their feelings being exposed, being out in the open for you to see and hear about. There are many reasons why this person kept their feelings from you hidden. Or the re uh, there, there are reasons why this person kept their feelings hidden from you, is the right way to say it. So you might know some, you might not know any. So you might know some of the reasons why this person didn't share their feelings with you. Or you might have no clue. This person didn't want to hide their feelings from you, but they had to. Okay, so at this point, I want to know why this person had to hide their feelings from you. They were in a sticky situation, another person. So they were either involved or there was someone that they cared about that would be hurt by their feelings for you. So another person here is involved, a third party or someone that cares about this person, whether this is in a romantic way or maybe friendship, family, that were in the way of this person telling you how they feel. But they really want you. They really want you. So even though their feelings for you comes with a cost consequence they still want you despite the difficulty despite the obstacles here between the two of you there is a soul connection between the two of you you possibly communicate telepathically or a dream about each other there is telepathic communication whether this is in your waking state or your dream state. Yeah, you talk. <laughs> you talk together. You talk to each other on higher realms. Even though there is no communication between the two of you in the physical, there is communication in the Ethereal? Ethereal? I never can remember that word. But higher dimensions. So fourth, fifth, and so on. This person's feelings for you are beyond logic. When this person thinks about their feelings for you, 
there is no logic behind it. There is no logic behind their feelings for you. So, which tells me that this situation you have with this person could be unexpected. Weird, even, I want to say. Like, there is something about this connection that isn't really normal. Or maybe even a taboo. Ooh, interesting. Maybe something, maybe like uh, in the community that you live in, it's a taboo or it is a connection that can be frowned upon. Oh my God, the attraction between the two of you is unreal, especially from this person. But you know, loving you comes with a cost is what I'm hearing. Loving you comes with a cost. So this person is ready to pay the price in a way, in a way. But at the same time, they were trying to resist paying the price. It has not paid, it has not been, been paid off yet. So this person plans on coming towards you and confessing their feelings for you, telling you the truth. This is basically the truth coming out. And that's what they are coming with. Telling you that, oh my God, you, okay. So I don't know if you are like comfortable being in a telepathic communication. Like for me, I can do it with anybody. So it could be new to you. Maybe you are used to telepathically communicating whether you are used to it or not to this person it is their first time so they will tell you that um you know I, i've had like very realistic dreams about you or you know sometimes i think about you and i swear i hear your voice or i swear i've seen you somewhere but then i look twice you're not there but you know I thought you were. So telepathic communication, it can be translated into your physical realm where, it, where you can see a person's face in another person and then you blink twice and it's a different person. So it can kind of leak into the physical realm. And the telepathy that you have between you and this person is their first time. I don't know about you, but it's their first time. So they are very much fascinated by the telepathic communication that they have with you. And they will tell you all about it. They will tell you about all the times where they talk to you to check if you remember or if you know about this or if they're just going crazy. <laughs> like I said, this person is the logical type. They find so many things attractive with you. They find so many things on you, meaning your body, perhaps the way you speak or your voice. There are so many things about you that this person finds attractive. And it's not just in a physical level. I feel like it's more of a personality level, you know? So it's not like just you know, you have perfect body, perfect face, but it's more like personality. You have like a seductive personality where you have this energy about you, this confidence, this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not harmony, but it's also harmony. But there is a word I can't remember or it's not coming to me that would describe this energy. Oh, there it is. Grace, grace. There is this grace about you. You're so graceful. There is this energy, this, it's like wherever you are, you pull your, uh, the energy from the outside in. It's, it's like this, you, you attract things. It's like you are a magnet. 
there is this great that um, they find very appealing and attractive. Graceful. Yes. Wow. We have the devil. <laughs> I don't blame them. We have the star and the devil. I don't blame them. It's like the way they see you. You know when someone is on stage and there is like this spotlight on one person and everyone is looking at that person with the spot with the spotlight on them everyone is looking at that person right it's like you are that type of person when you are on that stage and the spotlight is on you everything else is dark right but you are the one that is with the spotlight and everything around you just fades into the background that's how this person sees you it's like when this person sees you they see that everything else fades away it's almost like their vision becomes narrowed into you it's like the spotlight is on you it's so cute uh I feel like this person is very much fascinated by your presence, your energy. It's like the, the word, the word that would explain this beautifully is this person is mesmerized by you. Mesmerized. Wow. Wow. Mesmerized. Mm. They are low-key obsessed with you. And I say low-key because I want to be nice. They are low-key obsessed with you. It's Their obsession is not the freaky type. Their obsession is not the creepy type. Their obsession is, is almost like a fascination of you existing. Your existence in itself is fascinating for this person. It's like, I can't believe a person like you exists. Wow, this is like some strong energy. Like this, this person is infatuated with you or by you. I don't know which is right, but you know what I mean? It's very cute. Like I can't stop smiling. <laughs> it's very cute. I like it. You know, this person tried to run away from this, try to run away from their feelings from you or for you, but they can't. It's like their life without you, after they have met you or after they've seen you, it has less meaning. So it's almost like you added, you are, you are like the spice to, to the, to the meal, you know, it's like, imagine, imagine eating like a bland, Bland, is that the word? Oh no. Like a boring meal with no spices, no salt, no pepper, no other spices. And it's it's kind of boring. And I mean, if you are used to that, I mean, that's the most, <laughs> that's, the, that's the whitest thing that people do. But if you are the type that eats with no uh, salt, pepper, or, which is the minimal, uh, then, you know, skip that part. But it seems like this person feels like you are, you are the spice to their life. And without you, when they try to push you away and when they try to kind of not deal with you or not think about you, not feel their feelings for you, there is no meaning or there is less meaning to their life. And it feels like they don't want to do that. It's like, it's like asking a blind person after they have regained their sight to be blind again. It's like, no, now that I see, there is no way I'm going to go blind again. I won't let you. You know, it feels like even if this person, even when this person tried to get away from their feelings, it's, it's like they know it's impossible to do. 
because they can't see life without you in it anymore because they know now that you exist and so they won't go back to the world where you didn't exist where you didn't enter their reality so they are refusing that and even when they tried to um, get away from their feelings for you it's like they failed and they, and, and they knew on a subconscious level that they would fail because they wouldn't want to not be around you so yeah this i feel like this person is finding that being without you or getting rid of their feelings for you is helpless or is uh, not wise not smart because it's like why would i want to get rid of something that is really good now i do want to see What were the things that are holding this person back from you? Because I do see the interference of other people. It could be one person specifically. But is there something you want to tell us about the obstacles or the price that this person has to pay in order to have you in their life? Is there something there you want to share? Let's see. <laughs> oh, I love that spirit. It's like nothing. How about that? Nothing can stop these two from being together. We have the lovers. It's like, well, you have done this dance many times. You have done this little dance many times. No matter how many obstacles there are between the two of you, you will always be together. This this gives me a twin flame or soulmate, strong soulmate energy or twin flame energy. I'm more leaning toward twin flame, but I don't like using that word anymore or that term anymore because a lot of people, you know, just... And there's a lot of mis misconception and misunderstanding when it comes to twin flames. So I have to be careful when I say those words because I don't want to delude you. So... The tw let's just say a soulmate, strong soulmate connection between the two of you. It doesn't matter how many obstacles you have with this person. It doesn't matter if you spend lifetimes apart. Because every lifetime you find each other. And it doesn't matter how many obstacles there are. External fo forces intervening in this connection and trying to come bet in between you. You will always find a way towards each other. That is the, the true love story. So spirit is like, uh, uh, you, you think an obstacle will stop these two from being together? No. They have the lover's energy. These two are two peas in a pod. They're not going anywhere. The obstacles can go somewhere, but these two will always find a way to be together despite the circumstances. Because there's external forces or external kind of element to this where there are people or situations that came bet in between the two of you and these things will not hold as much as the strength of the connection that you two have. So the, the connection between the two of you is going to hold, not the obstacles. So it doesn't matter if you have if you have obstacles right now. And I feel like this person is going to uh, come towards you and confess their feelings for you and tell you all about their experience in approaching you or in um, dismantling and going through and breaking through the obstacles and paying the price to being with you. It's like I don't care if there are if there is if there is or are consequences to being with you, I am willing to pay that price because what we have between the two of us is not going to stop us from being together. Beautiful. 
Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, you will. T you two will end up together. The Hierophant. This is higher commitment. This is marriage. This is moving in together. This is spending the rest of your lives together by vows, you know, legal papers, or by promise. You know, verbal agreement is as valid as putting it on paper, you know, legalizing it by the government. Really, same thing. So I see a promise being made between the two of you that you will spend the rest of your lives together. So, whether marriage or higher commitment, you two will get there. You two will get there. This person is coming towards you. We have the Knight of Cups. There is no other way but that. You will be together. I'm going to close on this note because I'm loving it. I wish you all the best. I will see you soon.